Well, welcome here to Tattersall's Ireland to the international event, Les Smith. Les, president of the One Star Ground Jury. You're very welcome here, Daryl. You're a regular visitor here to Tattersall's. I assume you've now got an Irish passport? I just about got an Irish passport. It's a great pleasure to be here. I mean, it's a great event, fabulous facilities, and uh, really enjoyable. Good crowd. And Les, we're relaxing here just before the riders' reception on a Wednesday evening. I assume for you, this is the calm before the storm? Well, it's a little bit busier as what I did last week, where I judged four horses in total, <laughs> and I think we've got 80 plus this year, so it might have to work a little bit harder for uh, my... And Les, horse inspection has already taken place today. As a ground jury member, what, uh, at the first horse inspection for anyone sitting around the world or sitting at home listening to this, what's involved at that first horse inspection? Well, we're really just checking them. We're not there to buy them, but we're checking that they're fit to compete and you know that they're acceptable basically to the public and for the good of the horse and just check that they're you know sound enough to compete and you know we never risk anything that's uh, liable to damage itself if it heads out you know much further and tomorrow and friday les dress as you're saying over 80 in the class and the one star 40 each day that's a bit of a marathon to be judging for dress as you laughed there and said you judged four but 40 each day by the time number 40 goes in the evening is not a bit uh, bum numbing <laughs> that's no, no, no not really because uh, you know you see all different th things happening you know hopefully there'll be a lot of good tests and if you do it quite a lot I mean, it's just basically doing a job, and you've got to be as fair to the first horse and and, and the eighty first horse or however many there is, uh, and you've got to just stay clear, consistent the whole time. And in the one star layers, we've got a combination of the top riders in the world with their up and coming horses, and maybe that sort of hobby rider that that's the one star at Tattersall's is their lifetime ambition it's it's a super class to be involved with no it's a great class and I mean I think it's very good for the part-time rider you know it's something to inspire to that's possibly the level that the river want to ride it and it's possibly Tattersall's will be there badminton or Olympics you know on the same level and I think it's really good that they have the opportunity to ride against all the top riders in the world like William in the one, Fox Pits in the one star and he's the number one rider in the world in rankings at the minute and so you know I think it's a great opportunity and if they play their cards right do a good job they've got every chance of winning just as much chance of winning as William. And you mentioned William Fox Pit there Les I notice he is Bay My Hero in the three star he won with that horse here last year in the two star the previous year he won the one star could could someone like William with a horse do one, two and three stars in consecutive years? I think very, very probably. Because I certainly judged it when he won the one star. I judged one star two years ago when he won it. And it's a very good horse. It is, you know, trained it up in the correct way. And I think so it's in with a very good shout. And Les, after dressage is finished tomorrow and Friday, obviously then cross country, general public comes in in their thousands to watch as a ground jury member what's your role on cross country day well on cross country day i'm as president i'm in control in the control i'm in control of the whole competition but there's a, a controller obviously that's doing the, the nitty gritty but i sort of oversee that everything's running correctly running smoothly if there's any fences we have to take out say for bad ground or breakages or anything like that it's ultimately the ground jury's responsibility you know, with consultation with everybody else. And obviously, you're watching. Exactly. You're watching the riders too, Les. If anybody's maybe, maybe not being so kind to their horse, you very much have the authority to step in. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, we've got the powers to sort of discipline or pull them up, say a tired horse or an exhausted horse, and then we can discipline with yellow cards or fines if the you know abuse it. Yeah, you abuse the horse. And then we hit Sunday, Les, show jumping again. Well, we big, have the trot up big, yeah, on trot up Sunday way. morning, uh, which again, just to check that they're fit enough to compete. And then the show jumping is just the test that they're still fit and athletic and able to get off the ground. And hopefully the riders have ridden with their heads so that they've left a bit of energy in the tank for the Sunday. Mm. And Les... I'm delighted you've chatted to me before we really get starting here. We want to try this weekend, give, give 
general public at home the feel for what a three-day event's all about and of course a lot of focus this weekend and maybe not at your level here maybe in the three-star level Les for selection for the Olympic Games for, for all of the teams that are here all the countries mm. represented here so a very important Tattersalls this year It's a very important Tattersalls I mean especially for the Irish I think they're all you know sort of in it but I mean there's a lot of these horses that are possibly in the one star here could be thinking four years down the line to Rio Les, thank you very much for joining. I think it's time we all went into the reception and had a little glass of something uh, lubricating. Oh, I, I could agree with that. <laughs> and I wish you the very best, Les, over the next few days. Thanks very much. Thank you.